Good, wonderful morning. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Boss, and today we're inside for a very specific reason. Well, as you can see by the picture on your screen right next to my face, um, there's a picture of the Husqvarna 545 Mark II. And this will serve as the one-year um, review on the saw. Now, why we inside looking at my computer? Uh, it's pretty simple. I don't have my saw. It's in the repair shop. So, if you want to know about the first time the sprocket broke on my uh, 545, go back. There's a whole playlist about this saw. All about it. I've documented it. I think I even last summer highly recommended it my opinion has changed significantly for several different reasons now first of all if you've been following the channel for a decent amount of time you'll know that I am a Husqvarna fanboy and my opinion of Husqvarna has not changed at all um, they have stood behind this saw they have paid for every repair it's cost me nothing out of my pocket. However, if this was my only saw, I'd be paying dearly because my firewood production would be zero. So let's do some pros and cons. Things that I like about the saw and things I don't like. Um, pro number one, power to weight ratio is very good on the saw um, pro number two it runs really good it starts really good um, mechanically it's a great saw um, it you know the the auto tune on it is phenomenal that'll be pro number three it really, really gets great chain speed. I think it's around 10,000 RPM on that saw. Don't quote me on that. Um, I liked that it was a 20-inch bar. I thought it was um, pretty good, good compromise. Um, moving forward, my smallest bar that I'm going to be running in my firewood operation will be a 24. Um, we'll talk more about that. Do a few more little pictures of it. Um, I like that it has a primer bulb. That'll be a pro. Um, I like that it has capture nuts these little bar nuts here that hold your cover and your bar in place um, are terrific I like that they don't come off they're attached to the the bar cover itself um, trying to think of everything I can think of that I like I think that's pretty much going to cover it now cons I don't like these little dogs. They're might as well not even put them on there. They're worthless. They do nothing. Um, con number two: um, too small of a saw for my operation. Period. Number three: uh, con. Um, it is, and I'm going to use conservative numbers here. It has been a year and a month that I've owned that saw. I bought it 4th of July weekend, probably on the 2nd or 3rd of July last year. So I've had it for a year and a month. Um, in that amount of time, Husqvarna has had it in a repair shop three months. I've broken the sprocket on it twice. It's a very weak link. So, what would I do different? What would I do different? First of all, let's talk about price point because that's going to be significant. I paid $400 plus tax for my Husqvarna 545. Let's go see what they want for them right now 
on uh, track or on farm and home. This is the store that I bought it from. And currently, if I wanted another one, it'd be six hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. So two hundred and we'll just round it up two hundred and twenty dollars more. So yeah, I bring this up because I did get a good deal on it. But let me show you what I would do different. So today, if I was going to go buy a saw, this is what I would do different. This is my Holes Pharma, my PharmaTech uh, clone, the G372XP. It is a clone of a 372 XP um, uh, Husqvarna. My blue saw. You guys see me run. In fact, I've been running it all this summer because my 545's been at the shop a good bit of it. So, uh, what would I do different? I would buy three of these. They're one hundred and ninety nine dollars and sixty one cents right now. I would buy three of these in a heartbeat. This saw has run brilliantly. It has had a few little quirks, but I've had less problems with this saw than I have my five forty five. That is three times the price of this saw. I think when I bought mine, I paid $225.99 or something. It's a no-brainer. This saw will run circles around the 545. It will run a 24-inch bar, no problem. It um, outperforms. It um, cuts so much faster. I know outperforms and cuts so much faster. It, it just, there's no comparison. And my back and my arms get less tired running this bigger saw than uh, running the 545. Because that four inches of bar makes up the distance I have to bend over to, uh, to make the cuts. So, I guess that really changes uh, my opinion. Um, my current plan is I'm going to, when I get that 545 back from the repair shop, I am going to run one tank of fuel through it to make sure it's running correctly. Um, and then I'm going to put it for sale on Marketplace and sell it as a one-year-old chainsaw. And, uh, yeah see if I can get my 400 bucks back and I'm going to go buy two more of these. Actually, I'm going to buy the pro version. So, yeah. That's that's my plan. What is the pro? Okay. Short search later, I have come up with the pro version. This will be the next saw that I purchase and we'll document it on the channel. This is a 372 XP Pro top grade chainsaw with Wahlberg carburetor, Italian tech, uh, whatever cylinder, if you can pronounce that, you're cool. Metered piston, or meteor piston, uh, carbon rings, NKG plug, double bump strap wrap, uh, handlebar. So it's got the West Coast, I guess we call these a West Coast bar because you, when you're falling, you can cut and have the handle either way um yeah so this will be this will be my next saw that i purchase um there may be a, a new saw showing up but i'm not going to talk about that right now um yeah i have watched a dude um <coughs> called iron horse he has a bigger youtube channel um and he has one of these, and he showed about it, and it looks phenomenal. Um, he does performance builds, so he changed the piston and the crank, and he said pretty much everything else is fabulous for doing performance. So, 
It looks like a really, really nice saw. And I'm super happy with the blue version that isn't the Pro. So, you know. Now, let's go back to the 545 because I have a few more little insights about that. Um, when we talk about chainsaws, there's a whole spectrum of them out there. Just because it says Husqvarna or it says Still or Dalmar or, you know, any of the premium brands um, doesn't make it a good saw. It, it just doesn't. There are consumer grade saws, entry level saws. And do the right tool for the right job, I guess is the story here. If you're a homeowner and you want a Husqvarna, what are they, the 135 or whatever, the little entry grade one, and you're a homeowner, uh, you're going to prune your trees with it, you're going to cut just a pinch of firewood every year to, um, you know, burn. Yeah, probably okay. Now, if you're a professional dude, let's say you do tree service work. Here's a good scenario for that 545. Um, I think it would be an excellent limbing saw, you know, for, for limbing, uh, cutting small trees, limited use, okay? Limited use, I think it'd be a good fit. I'm using it. It's the wrong tool for my job, for my needs. Um, I think last year we cut someplace, and I didn't measure, someplace between 60 and 80 face cords of firewood with it. That's, it's not designed, in my opinion, it is not designed for that. It is the wrong tool. You need a big commercial grade saw and my recommendation if you're like me and you have to have a Husqvarna I would look at the 562 would be my entry level saw for what I do or the 572 XP I think you know if you're cutting oh let's say this year I expect we'll do 80 to 100 face cords possibly more get the bigger saw it's going to run longer it's going to break less it's more dependable it's not going to hurt your back i may even try a longer bar i may try a 32 on it i'm not sure but these are my opinions i can't in good conscience anymore tell you that the 545 is a great firewood saw if if you did Five or ten face cords a year, you're only cutting for yourself. Yep, I think it'd be okay. If you run it heavy, like I have, um, no, it's the wrong tool for your job. It just is. And you can go back in the videos and watch what I've done with the saw. It, it's bone stock. I didn't do anything. I didn't tweak anything. Um, I did put a new bar on it. I put an Oregon bar in chain combo on it. Um, Bill, you, you've been asking me how many teeth it has in the sprocket on the saw. It's seven. I did count that when I was installing that new bar. Um, when I installed the bar, it wasn't getting proper oil. It's identical to the bar that came on it other than it is a um, an Oregon and great bar. Oregon makes premium stuff. So this will be uh, the next saw that I purchase, you know, with my own money. It's a no-brainer. I am super happy with my blue saw and what I'll do is I'll rotate them. Um, I'll run a tank out of my blue saw, put it down, let it cool off, and grab this saw and run a tank. And uh, just set and rotate them. That way I've uh, always got a sharp saw sitting there and always got a full tank sitting there. Now what I can tell you that I've noticed is the 545, this is another pro, 
gets excellent fuel mileage economy however you want to word it uh, my blue saw uh, burns twice as much gas however I can cut twice as much wood in the same amount of time so am I losing anything by burning more fuel no not at all I'm probably gaining now this whole video came about because Daniel and I have been talking in the comments section get down in the comments this brings up these discussions and we can get deep and we can you know dig deep on stuff um, this is his saw he has a 550 or he may have said a 555 but I think it's a 550 um, there isn't a huge difference there's a small horsepower difference uh, this is 3.35 and this is 3.75 but still a 50 cc saw i suspect that this is actually a 51 cc or something like that but maybe not or they've tweaked it a little bit so it's getting a little bit more power so daniel um he wants to buy a 545 for a very dear friend of his if your friend doesn't cut a lot of firewood only maybe for himself maybe has a burn pit in the backyard and just wants camp firewood yep yep I think the 545 would be a good fit but honestly 619.99 so 620 for another $80 Plus tax where I live for another $80 this is probably twice as dependable and twice as good a saw my 350 I've got the 350 in my mind and I'm th comparing if this if my 350 runs as good as this 550 it's a no-brainer I can't kill my 350 I really can't um, when the blue saw was down this summer and of course the 545 was has been down all summer basically and not been right um, I ran the 350 you can go look at a few videos of me running it and yeah it's a no-brainer get the 550 for your dear friend unless he just doesn't use it much if it's going to be, uh, you know, sit on his, uh, a shelf in his garage, yeah, sure. And if he cuts an extraordinary amount of wood, I would skip this saw too. And I would go over to the Pharmatech if, I, if we can find it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's a no-brainer. For the price point, for the price point, you cannot be these saws you just can't now let me quickly cover a few problems that I've had with my uh, 3 G 372 XP the recoils are pretty junky but they're also cheap to buy I've been buying them on Amazon um, the one that's currently on this saw beautiful not a problem with it um, don't buy the holes pharma bar in chain I think they're junk put in Oregon put you know a Husqvarna bar put something decent on it in a decent chain brilliant so I just wouldn't order it with that you can when you get into the ordering you can delete the bar and chain do that and buy a Husqvarna you know you're gonna have another hundred dollars into this saw uh, if you put a Husqvarna bar and chain on it but you could do an Oregon probably be a bit cheaper probably 80 so um, other thing the only other thing I've had go wrong is I had to take the carburetor apart and there was sawdust inside the carburetor like um, there's a little tiny mesh screen that was filled with sawdust I cleaned it out put it back together and uh, been brilliant absolutely brilliant 
so those are my opinions thank you for watching i do appreciate each and every one of you guys you guys are awesome um, I still have a ton of wood out in the wood yard that I need to do more splitting, so there will be more splitting videos. The weather is gorgeous. I'm actually going to, um, once I get this video up and everything, I'm going to be out there uh, splitting today. Um, I've not been recording all the splitting. I mean, I can. Put it down in the comments if you want me to just record everything. No problem. We can do that. Um, I haven't been recording a lot out in the woods either because, uh, when me and Tyler get out there, we're just balls out and I hate to waste his time moving the camera and setting up shots and, and all that fun stuff. So I haven't been recording a lot of that, um, but I will, I will. So guys and gals, thank you so much again. Um. I could sit here and listen to myself talk for hours, but I think we're done. Thank you guys, and we'll see you all again soon in the next video. Hit all the buttons, too. I appreciate it. It helps. Till next time, bosses out. Bye.